Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ekitu Chiedema. I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be looking at powerful prayer to overcome trespasses. That is powerful prayer to overcome trespasses, or you can even call it sin. Praise the Lord. But the reason why I use the word trespasses is because trespasses is not the same as sin. Praise the Lord. We are not praying to overcome sin. Rather, we are praying to overcome trespasses. Now, what do we mean by that? Now, sin is a nature. Praise the Lord. Man was born with the nature of sin. Trespasses are the fruits of the nature. Praise the Lord. Trespasses are the fruits of sin. Are you hearing me? Now, sin is in the DNA of man because of the fall. As Adam sinned, the Bible said, through one man, sin entered the whole world. Sin entered towards genetically from Adam. So that is why you see every child that is born today naturally does nasty things. You see, from childhood, children have begun to do some nasty things. They have begun to be disobedient, you know, stubborn, you know, even insulting. You, you wonder where did they learn those things from? They don't need to learn it. It's in our DNA. Evil is embedded in our DNA. That is what sin is. Sin is a nature. In Psalm 51, David said, in sin was did my mother conceive me. Are you getting so we're born with the nature of sin so we're not praying to overcome sin we're only praying to overcome trespasses now why are we not praying to overcome sin we are not praying to overcome sin because jesus has overcome sin for us jesus overcame sin on the cross of calvary for us he took upon the bible said in, in second corinthians 5 21 he said he was made sin him that knew no sin that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So he took our nature upon himself and nailed it at the cross and gave us his righteousness. Righteousness is also a nature. Righteousness is not what you do or what you, you, you act. It's not action. Righteousness is also a nature, just like sin is a nature. But trespasses is the fruit of the nature. For example, fornication is not a sin. It is not sin in itself. It is a fruit of sin. You for, if somebody fornicates, you fornicate because of the sin nature in you. It starts from inside you. It starts with desire. It starts with lust. In fact, before you finally committed that fornication, you have committed it already in your heart. That's why Jesus said, if you have even conceived it in your heart, you have done it. So fornication is a trespass. It's lying is a trespass. Stealing is a trespass. All these are products of the sinful nature. Are you hearing me? Because every sin comes from the nature. Every trespass, every act of sin. Now, for example, trespass is the act of sin. Sin itself is the nature. Trespass is what the nature produces. Lying, stealing, backbiting, you know, fornication, adultery, a law, um, uh, um, uh, uh, whatever, wickedness, hatred, loss. All those things are what? Products of the sin. They are the trespass. So, now that we have been saved by Jesus, now that Jesus has become our righteousness, now that we have been born again, we need to pray and to overcome trespasses. Now, why is that? The day you gave your life to Christ and became born again, you received the nature of right of God into your spirit. You became righteous because man is a spirit. So the righteousness of God was embedded in your spirit. But your flesh is still the same because this body is already corrupt. I, I don't have enough time to preach this, but very soon I'll be making the long messages on this in a section of the channel. Now, this body that this is your physical body, is your physical body you can touch, is already corrupt. There is nothing good in the body. The flesh, the flesh, which is the nature of the devil, has corrupted this body. So even your salvation did not change your body. It only changed your spirit. You became righteous, righteous before God in your spirit. Now, you need to pray to produce the fruits of righteousness. That means, how do you produce the fruits of righteousness? By overcoming trespasses, which is the fruit of sin. The fruit of righteousness is righteous acts. The fruits of sin is what we call trespasses, which is sinful acts. And sinful act manifests from the body. It manifests from the body. Are you getting the point now? So that is why when you are born again, if you used to be, if you used to be into fornication and adultery, then you gave your life to Christ, don't expect the feeling of fornication and adultery to leave you. It will still come. Because this body did not get born again. This body can never and will never be born again. This your physical body can never be, it will never be born again. No matter how anointed you are, this body 24 hours wants to see. This body, no matter how anointed, if you like be seeing God every day, this body 24 hours want to see. In, in 2 Corinthians 15, I think, I don't say what it is, 1 Corinthians 15, what we're talking about, 
corruptible, taken up on incorruptible. The Bible calls this body corruptible. It says, on the day the trumpet will sound, corruptible will put on incorruptible. This body is already corrupt. That's why this body will not go to heaven. Sin has damaged this body permanently. This body will never desire to do right. Are you hearing me? So, for as long as we live in this body, we must pray to keep overcoming trespasses. We must walk with the Holy Spirit to help us to overcome trespasses so that as we are saved by faith through grace, we should, people will also see the, the, the fruits of righteousness in our life. You cannot say you are born again and you are still living in sin or you are still behaving anyhow. No, you are not productive. You are not producing the fruit of righteousness. So we need the help of the Holy Spirit and prayer to be able to produce the fruits of righteousness. And producing the fruits of righteousness is what helps us to overcome trespasses. When the Holy Ghost begins to help you build the fruits of righteousness, now all those acts of sin that you used to indulge in, lying, stealing, malice, all those things will begin to die out of your life and people will begin to see that you are indeed saved. Hallelujah. So today we are going to be praying to overcome trespasses, overcome sinful acts in our life. I want you to know that if you are born again, if you are a believer in Christ Jesus, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, God is never angry at you. Don't think that God is disappointed at you because of your sin. No, Jesus has paid for it. God will never be angry at you because of sin. No. He will only feel sorry for you, but he will never be angry at you because Jesus has paid. That is why the Holy Ghost, God gave you the Holy Spirit to help you to live right. Any sin you are struggling with, talk to the Holy Spirit. He will help you to overcome it. While you are working at overcoming it, never think that God is angry at you. God will never be annoyed with you. He loves you and because Jesus has also paid for your sins. Hallelujah. So pray this prayer from the standpoint of knowing that God loves you and he will never turn his back on you, not even because of your sin. And as you pray this prayer with me, the Holy Ghost will empower you to produce the fruits of righteousness, thereby overcoming that trespass in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now lift up your voice and say, Father, thank you for your unconditional love towards me. Pray that prayer right now. Father, I thank you for your unconditional love towards me. Father, I thank you for your unconditional love towards me. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Father, I thank you for your unconditional love towards me. Thank you, Jesus, for your unconditional love towards me. Jehovah, I thank you. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you love me unconditionally. Thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love towards me. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Next prayer. Say with me. Dear Holy Spirit, help me to produce the fruits of righteousness. They are called the fruits of the Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit, love, kindness, temperance, self-control, joy, etc. Oh Lord, help me. Yes, sweet Holy Spirit, help me to produce the fruits of righteousness. When people see me, let them see the fruits of righteousness. Father, help me to produce the fruits of love, the fruits of temperance, the fruits of patience, the fruit of self-control. Help me, Lord, to produce the fruits of joy. Help me, Lord, to produce the fruits of the Spirit, the fruits of righteousness. Lord, help me. Help me to produce these fruits as a believer. In the mighty name of Jesus, when the fruit of love is in your heart, uh, you will not be selfish towards others. When the fruit of self-control is in your heart, uh, you, you will know how to control yourself when you are tempted to do evil. When the fruit of joy is in your heart, you will be joyful always. Uh, begin to pray for that fruit, Lord, the fruit of temperance, the fruit of the long-suffering which is patient. Lord, dear Holy Spirit, help me. Help me to produce the fruits of righteousness. Help me, Lord, as a Christian, to produce the fruits of righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray this next prayer. Separate me, O Lord, from anything or anyone that leads me into temptation. Father, anything that leads me to temptation, Lord, separate me from it. Lord, anyone that leads me to temptation, separate me from them. In the mighty name of the Lord, help me. Separate me from friends that lead me to temptation. Separate me from habits and things that lead me to temptation. Lord, separate me from environments that lead me to temptation. Father, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. 
separate me law from areas, environments, people, things that lead me into temptation. Separate me from them, O oh Lord. Separate me from them, O oh Lord. Matori baba kashaka lepo dosi yaka pradi yaka telo rebe nete 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 tozo robo sandaraba. Separate me from environment that made me makes me sin. Separate me from environment that leads me to temptation. Separate me from associations that lead me to temptation. Lord, separate me, Lord, from things, from devices, from people that leads me to temptation. Separate me, Lord, from websites that leads me to temptation. Separate me, Lord. Separate me, Lord. Pray that prayer now. Pray that prayer from your heart. Holy Spirit, help me. Help me, Lord, to break free from them. Help me, Lord, to disconnect myself from them. Help me, Lord, to separate myself from them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cannot do it by my power. I cannot do it by my mind. But by your help, Holy Spirit, I can separate from them. Separate me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, sweet Holy Spirit. Help me, Lord. Separate me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In my prayer, let's pray with all your heart. Say, oh, sweet Holy Spirit, by your mercy, Never let me fall into a sin I cannot come out from. Pray that prayer right now. A lot of people have been destroyed with sin. Sin has been oppressing them to the point of destruction. Holy Spirit, do not let me fall into a temptation I cannot come out from. Do not let me get into a sin that I cannot come out from. Holy Spirit, you said even though, though, the, though he, the, a good man falls, he does not fall head first. Oh Lord, do not let me fall into a sin I cannot come out from. Pray that prayer right now with all your heart. Sweet Holy Spirit, do not let sin be my destruction. Do not let sin end my life. Do not let me get into a sin I cannot come out from. Dear Holy Spirit, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me from myself. Deliver me from my weaknesses. Deliver me from my shortcomings. Do not let me fall into a sin I cannot come out from. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear Holy Spirit, help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. Do not let me fall into a sin that I cannot come out from. Help me, sweet Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Next prayer. Sweet Holy Spirit, increase my desire to serve you more. The Bible said, I will take away the heart of stone and I will put the heart of flesh. Holy Spirit, increase my desire to serve you more. He said, and I will cause them to obey my words. I will cause them to do my work. Oh Lord, increase my desire to go after you. <laughs> increase my desire to serve you more. Increase my desire to study your word. Increase my desire to be committed to you. Increase my desire to pray. Increase my desire to serve you more. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear Holy Spirit, increase my desire to serve you more. Increase my desire to love you more. Increase my desire to follow you more. In the mighty name of Jesus, increase my desire. Increase my desire. Increase my desire to love you more, to serve you more, to follow you more. In the mighty name of Jesus, increase my desire to love you more, to serve you more, to follow you more. Increase my desire to love you more, to serve you more, to follow you more. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Dear Holy Spirit, strengthen me through your word and power to put my flesh under subjection. Father, dear Holy Spirit, strengthen me through your word and your power to put my flesh under subjection. To control this body and not let this body control me. Strengthen me, Lord, by your word and your power, dear Holy Spirit. Strengthen me to put my flesh under subjection. Strengthen me to put my body under subjection. Strengthen me to learn to say no to the desires of my body. Strengthen me, Lord, by your Holy Ghost and your power to learn to say no to the desires of the body. Strengthen me, Jesus. Strengthen me, Jesus, to learn to say no to the desires of my body. In the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen me, Lord, strengthen me, Lord, strengthen me, Lord, strengthen me, Lord, bara, 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 strengthen me, Lord, strengthen me, Lord, strengthen me, Lord, to learn to say no to my body. When my body wants to drink alcohol, I say no. When my body wants to commit fornication and adultery, strengthen me to say no. When my body wants to lie, strengthen, strengthen me to say no. When my body wants to do anything that is not of your, that, is, that is, does not please you, strengthen me to say no. Strengthen me to say no to the flesh. Help me, Holy Spirit, by your word and your power. Strengthen me to say no to the flesh. To place my flesh under subjection. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Dear Holy Spirit, continue to shower me with your unconditional love. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer number so for to live about the Bible said the Holy Ghost spread the blood of God. So the love of Christ has been shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit continue to spread God's unconditional love in my life. Continue to shower me with your unconditional love, thereby empowering me to live in love. Oh Lord, dear Holy Spirit, continue to shower me with your unconditional love, thereby empowering me to live in love. Dear Holy Spirit, continue to shower me with your unconditional love, thereby empowering me to live in love. Dear Holy Spirit, continue to shower me with your unconditional love, thereby empowering me to live in love. Sweet Holy Spirit, continue to shower me with your unconditional love, thereby empowering me to live in love thank you father blessed be your holy name for in jesus name we have prayed amen next prayer thank you father for making me righteous in christ we need to appreciate it father i thank you for making me righteous in christ appreciate it appreciate it father i thank you for making me righteous in christ blessed be your holy name Thank you, Father, for making me righteous in Christ Jesus. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making me righteous in Christ. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I encourage you to keep praying this prayer. You cannot overcome trespasses. That is the acts of sin. You cannot overcome it by determination. No, you cannot overcome it by muscle. No, you cannot overcome it by physical strength. You need the help of the Holy Spirit. If you notice, most of the prayers we have been praying, we prayed in this, in this video. We are praying, we are asking the Holy Spirit. We are talking to the Holy Spirit. Because it is the Holy Spirit that can help you live a righteous life. Praise the Lord. It is the Holy Spirit that can help you overcome trespasses. It is the Holy Spirit that can help you produce the acts of righteousness, the fruits of righteousness. That's why we're asking him, help us. Help us say no to the flesh. Help us overcome this. Help us produce the fruit of righteousness. Help us say no to the devil. Help us do this. It is the Holy Ghost that will help you to produce the righteousness that is already in you. Pray these prayers continually and I see your Christian life reflected before others in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are watching me and you are struggling with any addiction, talk to the Holy Ghost. Pray these prayers continually. The Holy Ghost will help you kill that addiction in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, until then, know that God loves you unconditionally in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. And you'll be glad you did. As you subscribe, I see God blessing you in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Tony Pastor. I get to you today. And I will see you in the next video. God bless you.